All right, we are here in the fairy fountain at the forbidden or lost forest, what, whatever it's called, that pathway that leads to the forest temple. And I just picked up four fairies and one extra fairy actually because we just got that last empty bottle. But yeah, uh, so as of right now, we are going to be continuing the storyline. Wait, I just played that backwards. So, are you guys ready? We are going to finish up this game. This is the last portion of the game, and I am very, very, very excited. Oh boy, oh boy. Here we go. I have been waiting for you, Link. Link, the hero of time. You have overcome many hardships and awakened six sages. And now you have a final challenge, a showdown with Ganondorf, the king of evil. Before that, I have things I want to tell only to you. Please listen. Another unknown legend of the Triforce passed down by the Shadow Folk, the Sheikahs. And here we go, cutscene time. If you would seek the sacred triangle, listen well. Okay, I'm listening. The resting place of the sacred triangle, the sacred realm, is a mirror that reflects what is in the heart. I knew this. The heart of one who enters it, if, if, if an evil heart, the realm will become full of evil. If pure, the realm will become a paradise. Reminds me of Wolf's Reign. The Triforce, the sacred triangle, it is a balance that weighs the three forces, power, wisdom, and courage. If the heart of the one who holds the sacred triangle has all three forces in balance, that one will gain the true force to govern all. But if that one's heart is not in balance, the Triforce will separate into three parts, power, wisdom, and courage. Only one part will remain for the one who touched the Triforce, the part representing the force that one most believes in. If that one seeks the true force, that one must acquire the two lost parts. Those two parts will be held within others chosen by destiny, who will bear the Triforce mark on the backs of their hands. Seven years ago, Ganondorf, the King of Thieves, used the door you opened in the Temple of Time and entered the Sacred Realm. But when he laid his hands on the Triforce, the legend came true. The Triforce separated into three parts. Only the Triforce of Power remained in Gal Ganondorf's hand. I almost said Galandorf. The strength of the Triforce of power enabled him to become a mighty evil king, but his dark ambitions were not satisfied. To gain the complete mastery of the world, Ganondorf started looking for those chosen by destiny to hold the two other Triforce parts. The one who holds the Triforce of courage is you, Link. Amazing he didn't notice the mark before. And the other, who holds the Triforce of Wisdom, is the Seventh Sage, who is destined to be the leader of them all. <laughs> dun dun dun! It is Sheik! How arrogant of him. OMG, what? 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 Sheik is a she? That's right, this is one of the biggest twists in the game way back when. It is I, the Princess of Hyrule, Zelda. What a switch, man. I apologize for meeting you in disguise, but it was necessary to hide from the King of Evil. Please forgive me. I am so sad that they made Sheik Zelda, actually. I like Sheik himself. On that day, seven years ago, Ganondorf attacked Hyrule Castle. Another cutscene. I saw you as I was escaping from the castle with my attendant, I Impa. I 
I'm sure we all remember this scene, right? Except we were looking at Link's point of view, and not theirs. I thought I should entrust the ocarina to you. I thought that would be our best chance. As long as you had the ocarina in your possession, I thought Ganondorf could never enter the sacred realm, but... Something I could never expect happened. After you opened the door of time, the Master Sword sealed you away in the sacred realm. Your spirit remained in the sacred realm, and the Triforce fell into Ganondorf's hands. He went on to invade the sacred realm. <laughs> Ganondorf had become the evil king, and the sacred realm became a world of evil. All of this is an unfortunate coincidence. I passed myself off as a Sheikah, and hoped that you would return. I waited for seven years. She looks happy. And now you are back! The Dark Age ruled by Ganondorf, the evil king, will end. No pressure at all. The six sages will open the sealed door and lure Ganondorf back into the sacred realm. I will then seal the door to the sacred realm from this world. Thus, Ganondorf the evil king will vanish from Hyrule. Link, in order to do this, I need your courage again. Please protect me while I do my part. And here is a weapon that can penetrate the evil king's defenses. The power given to the chosen ones. The sacred arrow of light. And here we go. We have the last powered arrow. Almost nearly, as soon as she takes her time giving it to us. Dun dun dun! You got the light arrow! Set it to sea and your arrows will be powered up. The light of justice will smite evil. Evil, evil. And now, big earthquake. Let's see what happens. That rumbling. It can't be. Uh oh. Dun dun dun. Princess Zelda, you foolish traitor. I commend you for avoiding my pursuit for seven long years. But you let your guard down. I knew you would appear if I let this kid wander around. My only mistake was to slightly underestimate the power of this kid. No, it was not the kid's power I misjudged. It was the power of the Triforce of Courage. But with the Triforce of Wisdom that Zelda has, when I obtain these two Triforces, then I will become the true ruler of the world. How do you like my evil voice? If you want to rescue Zelda, come to my castle. <laughs> I am just so badass. Anyway, so yeah, pretty much Princess Zelda is captured by Ganondorf, the whole damsel in distress thing, and we finally have the last arrow. Let's give it a quick test run to see how it looks. Oh, I can't use arrows in here. Right. I'm gonna go ahead and step outside real quick. Oh, I can't use arrows here either. Well, that, that, that's a little lame. Uh, I'll use them in just a second. So the castle is right over here. We are at Ganon's castle. Alright, this is what the light arrow looks like. It looks kinda similar to the other ones, just as normal. And it explodes into a big ball of light. Duh. Anyway, we're gonna go ahead and run all the way up here. And cutscene! Link, can you hear me? It's Rauru, the sage. We six will gather our power to create a bridge to the castle where Ganondorf dwells. The castle's keep, which is known as Ganon's Tower, is protected by six evil barriers. 
bring down the six barriers and save Princess Zelda. Sparkly, sparkly. Look at Navi get all excited. And here we go. Finally, we have a way to get to the castle. And thus marks the pretty much nearing the end. And I don't know why they chose it to be a rainbow. Maybe it's because it's like all the colors of the thing. I don't know. I, I, I never really care for this bridge, but oh well. Anyway, we're going to stop this video here. And in the next episode, we are going to begin Ganon's Tower. See you then.